Welcome to Story Glimpse. Today's episode will be focused on picking your main character and the three questions that'll get you right there. Thanks for joining us. Let's get started. Welcome back to Story Glimpse. Weston Kincaid here, best-selling author. Um, we're going to get started by going over how to pick a main character. Um, the easiest way to do it is to ask yourself three simple questions. We're going to get to those in just a minute. So um, the, the biggest part about picking a main character is considering what they know and what you want the audience to know. Question number one is what do you want the audience to know? If you have a character that knows everything, but you want to have some kind of twist or you don't want everything revealed, then you need to make sure that you pick someone who's going to uh, just give what you want to the audience. Um, they, you know, you may not want to reveal that he has some horrible past. Um, that may be something that you want to try and keep under wraps for as long as possible. Um, in that case, then it's going to be hard to pick your main character um, and have him be the narrator. So if you're being first, if you're in first person or something like that, everything he knows is going to be revealed to the audience. Um, even in third person limited, and uh, that can become somewhat uh, problematic. So it really makes a difference um, who you choose to be your main character. Um, speaking of an, of an example, we're going to take a look at the short story I recently read here on Story Glimpse called Permadrunk. In it, I personally chose a journalist to be my main character. I could, and you some may, may say that I should have chosen the main character, Dirk, who is permanently drunk. Uh, but unfortunately, there was, there was a lot of his history that I didn't want the audience to know. Um, and so in doing that, I needed to pick a main character who was with him, observing him, but not him. That allowed me to, uh, to do a lot of and kind of manipulate what the audience is told. And that leads us into question number two. Who has the information that you want to be provided to the audience? So if you consider that question and go through, uh, you can then pick which one is going to give the appropriate information without giving too much or too little. Now for question number three, you need to consider what you want to do with the story, okay? Um, I often include twists, especially in your endings. Um, so in, whenever I do an ending, I, I like to throw something in that is unexpected. If you're going to do that, that twist um, needs to be something that is privy to only certain people. Uh, so, of course, that, again, is going to affect who you choose as a main character. So if you want a twist ending, if you want just certain characters to know something that your main character or, or not your main character, but other secondary characters may not, then that's going to affect uh, who you choose to be your main character. So consider all three of those questions whenever you're creating a main character and then you can run with it and you won't hit any or as many stumbling blocks as you're uh, writing the story itself. Okay, so to summarize, remember there are three questions. Firstly, what do you want the readers to know? Second, who has the information? Which of your characters has the information that you want them to know? And thirdly, are there any twists um, you know, uh, moments where you're going to reveal and surprise certain characters with information they didn't have otherwise. That's your third question. All three of those will lead you to the right main character. Um, a lot of 
authors, especially uh, new authors, whenever they submit to a publisher um, or an agent, they encounter situations where the editor may give them feedback that says, hey, look, this main character just doesn't work or something else. But if the author determines that the main character is wrong, guess what? You have to rewrite the whole darn thing. That's not something an author likes to hear. So if you can pick the right main character from the very beginning by asking yourself these three questions, you can save yourself a lot of heartache. Thank you for coming to Story Glimpse. I'm glad that you could make it. I hope this tutorial video helped you to understand uh, a simple, a few simple questions you can ask yourself in the beginning to avoid hurdles later on in picking your main character or even avoid a full rewrite. So thank you for joining us. If you'd like to go ahead and uh, subscribe and hear more, please click the bell. Also, leave a comment below. If there's something you'd like me to go over, I'd be happy to. I just need to know what it is. So let us know. Again, thanks for coming. Have a great day.